This presentation is brought to you by Liberty Medical, helping you to manage your diabetes and get the supplies and support you need so you can live a better life. Good morning. I'm Wilfred Brimley, and I'd like to talk to you about diabetes. Actually, about diabetes and how you can fight the diabetes. Now, I'm not perfect, but I know that when I live a healthy lifestyle with healthy food and exercise, I feel better. And I support any endeavor that spreads that awareness. Like this game, Diabetes. Welcome to Mike's Gaming Gala. I'm Mike, and this week we're looking at Diabeter and the Sugar Monsters, published by Guardian Games for the Game Boy Color. Diabeter comes in a professionally printed box with printed manual and, of course, a game cartridge. One cool thing about this manual is it actually has a bunch of low-carb recipes perfect for people living with diabetes. Diabeter sells on the Guardian Games website for $20 complete in box, or as cart only for $18. Full transparency, I was given a copy for free to review. Okay, let's plug it in and take a look. Starting your system, you're brought right to the title screen with pretty rocking theme music. Beginning the game, we get some backstory explaining that the evil diabeter is convincing diabetics nationwide that it's healthy to eat high carb diets, causing complications and unhealthy lifestyles. Now you play as the Insulator, a hero dedicated to battling the Diabeter and his sugar monsters by spreading knowledge and awareness to the world. And shooting them full of insulin. Getting into the game, we see that this is a platformer, where your goal is to shoot an assortment of sugary foods. Scattered throughout each level are signs that you can read that will either encourage you or give you information about diabetes. Beating the first boss, which is a donut, you come to the door to the next level. Between every level, you have to answer a multiple choice question in order to pass. And of course, all of these questions are related to diabetes and informing you about a healthy diabetic lifestyle. Answering the question correctly opens a door and you're on to the next level. In level two, you fight cans of cola and for the boss, you face off against a giant candy in its wrapper. Here's a good time to talk about your damage meter, which is represented by your blood sugar level at the top left. If this bar fills up, your blood sugar is too high and you have to restart the level. Answering the next question, you make it to level 3, which has you shooting more sugar monsters, culminating in a battle with an ice cream cone. Level 4 changes things up. Here we have a scrolling shooter level. You'll have to navigate obstacles such as walls, ice cream bars, and cookies. Ice cream bars and cookies will up your sugar level, but walls are instant kill, forcing you to start over. Level 5, we're back to platforming and we're shooting sugar pills. The music in this level actually really reminds me of the Cheetah Man music from Action 52 on the NES. At the end of the level, simply evade the sugar and you'll advance to level 6. In level 6, you're platforming down and the enemies here are these thin guys with lollipops. Once you get to the bottom, you'll then have to cross under a bunch of ceiling pipes, dropping agave monsters before moving on. In level 7, the enemies are these airplanes. It's in this level that I notice what I thought at first might be a bug, but it's actually a result of your character sprite. You see, Insulator here carries a massive syringe, and that's part of your sprite. So when you jump onto a platform, while your instinct is to make sure your feet land on it, in actuality, the extra width means that you've got some more space in front of your feet that will count as part of your character for maneuvering. This also means that in spots where there's a hole in the floor that's only a single block wide, you won't fall into it. This is an easy game, but dying a couple times is a distinct possibility. If you accidentally jump on top of an enemy, they have this nasty habit of juggling you. Getting to the end of this level leads you to another scrolling stage where you'll have to avoid trees and the lollipop men. And then you'll get to fly over a few friends from previous levels. Then we're at the last level where after passing through a short level of these big headed beasts, we battle the Diabeter himself. Blast him with insulin lowering his blood sugar until he's defeated. 
and you're congratulated for getting control over your blood sugar and reminded that you have diabetes. Diabetes doesn't have you. And that's Diabeter and the Sugar Monsters for the Game Boy Color. So what did I think? Well, this is a game review channel, and I'm not going to lie and say this is a great platformer that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. It really isn't. What I will say, though, is that it's incredibly heartwarming. This is an educational game with a wonderful message. Diabetes doesn't have to ruin a person's life. I have to be honest, as a non-diabetic, I did learn some things through reading the signs and answering the questions between levels. I see this as a great game for kids who may have been diagnosed or have somebody close to them with diabetes. If you're watching this video, you're probably a retro gamer. And if there's a child in your life dealing with diabetes, I can't think of a better way to share both your passion and make their condition more approachable. I got a chance to meet Spencer, the creator of this game at the Midwest Gaming Classic, where he told me about this game and one he's working on called Winsley's Guardian, as well as the stories behind them. This is a man who's taken the struggles in his life and used them to create games to help others. There's something really beautiful in that, and I fully support it. For $20, this is one of those rare games that I'd say is worth picking up even if it's going to just sit on your shelf as part of your collection because it supports somebody doing something really cool. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I hope you go and support Spencer with Guardian Games. I really like what he's doing and I really like the message that this game gives. As always, I've got my contact information on the screen and I'll see you next time on Mike's Gaming Gala.